a guest on the line. We do? Yeah. Who is the guest? Kent. Oh. Hey, good morning, Kent. How are you? Good morning. I'm doing well. How are you guys? Good. You're calling in from Vancouver. That's are, right. Are you? How's the weather then, Vancouver? Uh, today it is absolutely beautiful. The last couple of days, a little bit rainy, but it's the weekend and it's sunny. That's all that matters. <laughs> That's right. This weekend is sunny. Yeah. So, yep. So, you, you, you are the, one of the lead characters for John Applejack. That's right. Yep. So, how do you get into that, that correct character or, or, or cast to be played that, that character, John? Um, uh, Jack, I, sorry. I auditioned, like, uh, most of the roles that I've, I've played. Um, had some callbacks. And uh, the whole callback experience was actually uh, one of my favorite because... Uh, the Jacks had to read opposite of the Johns uh, for chemistry tests. Yeah. And um, it was it was interesting because uh, as we're going through and I'm reading against all the other Johns, I I I know that I'm going to need to kiss these guys. And <laughs> I, I come to the conclusion that there's one of them that I would much prefer to kiss <laughs> over the other two. <laughs> and I was like, this is, this is the first time I've ever had such a thought. Really? Thought was so you're picky, huh? I think I am a little bit picky. Oh, that's that's fine. That's normal. <laughs> I think I chose the right one too. Y yeah, I think so too. I mean, Chris is pretty hot and handsome. You know what? Every single time that we go on tour and we hang out, I'm just like, you know what? I'm I am honestly a little bit attracted to you. <laughs> oh, great! And what is what what is his response? Uh, he he usually gets a little bit a little bit. Uh, he kind of laughs it off and smiles at me. It's like, oh, Kent. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, uh, we're, we're, we're really good friends now. It's, it's great. That's great. So tell us a little bit about your character on, on this movie, John Applejack. So Jack, uh, he's a chef uh, who works for this uh, really big um, restaurant chain. And he, he really wants traditional life. He wants, he wants his house. He wants his wife. He wants his kids. And he just wants a simple, uh, happy life. Uh, you know, with, with someone to love and be loved. Um, but the conflict in the movie is that he doesn't really, in the, in the beginning anyway, he's kind of chosen the wrong person. And in, he's in denial of who he actually truly wants, mm -hmm. who is John. And right. As the movie unfolds, you know, things happen. Right. As I, I, was, as I was watching the movie and your character especially, you have a lot of pent-up frustration and, yeah. and things that needs to be expressed, but you keep it into yourself. Yeah, and it's, like most it's Chinese men. Exactly. I was just about to say it's very typical of a, of an Asian Chinese man because I'm Chinese myself, so I, I can I, I can relate totally. Yeah, yeah. No, it's uh, it yeah. Like even myself, I'm, I, I when I was reading the character, I was like, yeah, like this, this. I feel I feel a lot of this in myself, definitely. And a few times, I really want to slap you on the screen. <laughs> Say it out already. That's Come good. on. That's good. That's What's good. holding you up? Key emotion. That is good. Good or bad? Yeah. <laughs> yeah you, you play it well. If you get the audience, you. if you get the audience wanting to slap you, that's probably a good, you, yeah. a good job. Yeah. yeah. He, he did. So, so let's go to the very end, though. Hopefully, I redeem myself in a, in a way. You he know? did. <laughs> so let's do a good introduction of Kent since we kind of jumped right into his interview. Please. Oh, yeah. Kent. Me. Me. Yeah. Um, I'm, I'm born and raised in Vancouver. Uh, Born in Canada, so uh, my parents were from Hong Kong. Um, I studied psychology, and I didn't, I didn't know I wanted to be an actor um, until after university, which is pretty late, I think, as, thing, as things go. And then um, you were, uh, you, you ventured into the modeling world as well, and then you became TV host of some Asian channels. That's right? right. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. And as and I was like I, I tell the story to to people I meet all the time uh, and it's because I really notice especially in hindsight the evolution of myself. Um, I used to not be uh, uh, lean and fit and um, you know even attractive sort of see. And as I grew older, as I exercised more, and I kind of slowly one bit at a time evolved into the person that I am now. And you know, modeling and hosting the show, and eventually getting into acting class, which really helped me learn about myself and explore um, just different aspects of, of, of human behavior and what it means to be a person. I eventually became who I am now. You know, so um, it's interesting because like the whole modeling and the hosting, all that kind of stuff, it, it really helped me get to where I am now. Good. Is this is this what you want to be? Um, at this current moment, yes. 
Um, I wanted to be an actress for the last few years, and I can foresee it being that way for a number of years longer. Um, but I do, down the road, want to eventually uh, direct. Um, I, I definitely enjoy producing as well. Um, but I, I, I do understand that if you spread your energy and your, uh, your focus too thin, you won't really get anywhere. So uh, I want to, you know, work on my acting career, find success there, build a name, um, you know, so that people will actually listen to me. And then down the road, uh, I want to direct for sure. Yeah, that, that's good. And 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 uh, you definitely are going to keep up with your your, your current physique, right? Because you. you you, you do have you you build up pretty nicely, I would have to say. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> Good job. I'm a thank personal you. trainer as well, so I, I can tell. He's speaking thank from you. a professional perspective. Yes, yes. exactly. All right, so Kent uh, can be seen at the California Independent Film Festival, the screening at the Castro Theater. On, on, on he will be here. You'll be here two days on on, on September right. 12th and 12th September 13th. 13th, and Jack John Apple Jack will be featured on the. Uh, September 13th, Saturday, the closing of the Castro Theatre Film Festival for that perspective, and then the after party. And you yourself will be here uh, uh, in I'll person. Be there in the flesh. Great. Excellent. All right. We look forward to, to having you here, and, uh, and, and here you'll do a QA and a with the, uh, with the director, I assume? Yeah. Uh, yes. Good. I'm sure there will be. And you guys are doing that now at festivals? Pardon me? You guys are doing that at festivals currently? Are you? Yes, yes. Oh, good. So, so there's lots of festivals. We, um, yeah, every single one that we've gone to, there's been a Q&A session. And usually, obviously, John's there, Ma Monica, the director, uh, Selena, the producer as well, as well as Rick. So. Okay, and, and you have an upcoming shots it's called a cover-up. Is that correct? Yeah, yeah. Um, I think that's looking for distribution right now. Uh, it's skipping the whole festival thing. Um, but that's probably as much as I know. Uh, they finished the final cut. I haven't seen it yet. I play a completely different character, which is interesting. Cool. That, that gives you some exposure there. Well, we look forward to meeting you in person uh, during the film festival, and definitely it will be a fun time. Yeah, I look forward to meeting you guys, too. Yep. Great. Thanks for Thank calling in, Thank you very much for calling in. Thanks for having me. Yep. See yep. you soon. See you soon. All right. Take care. Bye. Bye. And that's uh, Ken Leon. Leon. From John Applejack, one of the feature films for the California Independent Film Festival on September 13th in Castro Theater.